what reaction occurs between ammonium chloride and sodium hydroxide? I want to point out that these are both two pairs of positive and negative ions. This comes from the ammonium ion, which is NH4 with a plus one charge, paired up with chlorine, that's Cl with a minus one charge. Sodium hydroxide is a sodium ion, that's Na with a plus one charge, and hydroxide is, has a minus one charge. Whenever you have two pairs of ions and you're asked for the product of their reaction, you're supposed to do what's called double displacement. Put one of the positive ions with the other's negative ions, and then put the other two ions together that were not paired up and, you know, pair them up, see what happens. When I pair up NH4 with OH, I end up with NH4 OH. I only need one of each to get those charges to cancel. I crisscross one and one down. You don't write ones, so I'm done with NH4 OH. And Na paired up with Cl, you probably already know is NaCl because that's table salt and it's every teacher's favorite example. Now, NaCl dissolves in water. It's probably going to be aqueous. But NH4OH undergoes another reaction. In fact, if you do this reaction and then you sniff it, it's going to smell like ammonia. Your teacher probably wants you to know that NH4OH will further decompose. As soon as it forms, it breaks apart, a little bit at least, into NH3, which is ammonia gas, and water, which is a liquid. If you are answering the question, what are the products of this, and it's worth three marks, it's because NaCl is one. And NH4OH also is present, but it decomposes to ammonia and water. There you go. The reaction of ammonium chloride and sodium hydroxide gives you ammonia and water and sodium chloride. Best of luck, double displacement.